So you know what that let me know? 
know is that really truthfully that when there was a need amongst the body of Christ, the church met. Right, the church met. I'm about to go somewhere and I'm about to share something that I know it may offend some, but at the same time, um, as your pastor, I've got to be truthful with you. Um, we've got to understand that in many cases, we try to spend more time blessing people and helping people who don't come to church. Matter of fact, you might even talk about the church when they're not at church. Ain't never yet. Don't get in to the church. But yet, wants up from the church. And will other words wear the church. Oh, oh. You said it back this again. All right. And what we have to understand is, people of God, we've got to be more mindful of each other. Of those that are part of the household of faith, those that are present, those that are here, those that are on the battlefield alongside of us. Why? Because why? we've got to make sure we take care of one another. This is what happens, people of God. The reason why in many cases we can't be a blessing to one another is because we're absent. Right? And number two, we don't know each other. <laughs> and number three, we don't know each other enough to be able to be close enough to be a blessing to you and even know you even need help. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We take all that for granted. Right? But we'll talk about folk. Hmm. We'll find something wrong. We'll complain. Why this? Why this? Why that? Why the other? But people have needs, and we'll talk about them, but we won't find a way to help. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the Lord loves the truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. right? The Lord loves the truth. Um, I'm going to do something this morning, and I'm going to ask something of you this morning. Now, you're going to have to trust me with this one. Because I'm not going to share with you some stuff until later. So, this is what I want you to do. Listen to me, listen to me. When I ask you to do something, this is what I want you to do. If you are going to do it, do it. If you're not going to do it, Yeah. 
So if you're gonna be on the ass, whatever heart is here, just come here. Put it in the heart of the ass, just come up. Wherever you are, just come up. Everybody's not giving, so you may just have to just kind of get in where you feel. If you go to Thailand, they just put a little, put special gifts in there too. So you go to Thailand, you should be nice. Okay. Do they have one of the big brown envelopes? Ask me if they got one. Okay. 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 I was led to do this, and I went back and forth with it. But God kept putting it in my spirit. Why? Because especially those who are in the household of faith. Sister Kaiser, come here. Amen. Come here. She didn't know I was doing it. Nobody knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the thing. I want to look at it. No. She didn't even know. <laughs> listen to me, listen to me. She drives, she comes here, she says, pray for her. She don't come here. Amen. She go check on her neighbors at school. Mm -hmm. Right? Running the risk, they're going to call by the neutral room. <laughs> She became 
make it easy to get there. Right? So you say, Rev, I got you. And there are many people that say that, but not everybody mean that. Because when trouble comes, your chunk of the deuce is at a minute. She's been through the ups, she's been through the downs, she's been through the whole sermon I preach. Amen.
We've got to make the gospel important. We've got to make winning souls important. Right? Not just fantasies. Right? Not just fantasies. Why? Because God wants us to be in the business of helping to save souls. Right? And so you have seen it. You have seen it all over the country. Right? There are a lot of churches that are filled. Right? They're full. Right? But yet the souls that are in them are empty. Amen. So 